Welcome back. The World Bank apologized to the Philippine government over the inadvertent release of a report about the allegedly poor learning results among Filipino students. In a statement uploaded on its official website, the World Bank acknowledged that its report titled Improving Student Learning Outcomes and Well-Being in the Philippines, What Are International Assessments Telling Us? Volume 2 Synthesis Report Presentation was published sans any inputs from the Department of Education or the DepEd. They said, we deeply regret that the report on education was inadvertently published earlier than scheduled and uh, before the Department of Education had enough chance to provide inputs. Now, this was an oversight on our part and we conveyed our personal apologies in our communication with the government. It said, the World Bank said the report was already temporarily removed from its website. The World Bank report said that around 80% of Filipino students fall below the minimum proficiency levels as they don't know what they should know in school. Its report was based on three assessments participated by the Philippines, including the Program for International Student Assessment, or PISA, in 2018, the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, or TIMS, in 2019, and the first cycle of the Southeast Asia Primary Learning Metrics, or the CPLM, in 2019. The three global assessments, the World Bank said, showed that only 10 to 20 percent of grade 4, 5, and 9 students in the Philippines posted scores of at or above minimum proficiency. The World Bank also said there is a crisis in the Philippine education, which started pre-COVID-19 and may have been uh, made worse by the coronavirus pandemic. Now, as of uh, press time, the World's Bank report of Philippine education is being processed or is not available.